Hello parents and students, and welcome to the 2021 school year at Apprende Middle School. My name is Mr. Slunaker, or Mr. S if that's easier. I am very excited to have the opportunity to teach you art this semester, and I hope you are equally excited to learn from me. I'd like to start out with my mission statement to give you an understanding of my teaching philosophy in art. My mission is to expose students to all aspects of the visual arts with a focus in integrating the core subject areas. This classroom is a safe, inspiring environment where students feel comfortable to take risks, participate in creative problem solving, and think critically. I will encourage you to look at the world through the lens of art and to recognize it as an integral part of the human experience. When we view the world through the lens of art, it leads us to all kinds of different subjects that develop and encourage cross-curricular learning. It is my hope to develop a culture of exploration and learning in my classroom while still building core art skills. A little about me. I am an alumni of the Dorrance Scholarship Program and have degrees in art education and studio ceramics. I was born in Indiana originally and lived in California for a short, short time as well. The last 15 years of my life were here in Arizona though. I'm a Chicago sports fan, a dog lover, saltwater aquarist, a geek, TV and cartoon fan, and a frequent reader. I've also studied and taught in France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, and China. Here are some things you can expect in my classroom that I believe will help students grow as artists and learners. Reflection and revision, tolerance of ambiguity, questions and not answers, brainstorming and imagination, and influence and collaboration. Students will also be expected to engage in artistic behaviors such as taking responsibility for their own creativity, maintaining their art studio and keeping it clean, attending demonstrations given by myself, and thinking and acting like artists. My grading philosophy is a bit different from some other classes. I prefer to assess students on their process, effort, and artistic behaviors more than their finished art pieces. To me, the end result is not as important as what they learn along the way. I like to assess formally and informally and always adjust my te teaching based on the student's needs. For distance learning, I have developed a unique supply list, which can also be found in your student's Google Classroom. Some must-have art supplies for distance learning are pencils, plain non-lined paper, scissors, and tape or glue. Supplies that I hope you have that would let us do a wider variety of projects but are not required are colored pencils, markers, rulers, and chalk. And extra supplies you can bring if you have access to them are oil pastel, watercolor paints, acrylic paints, paint brushes, and charcoal. Once again, these last two lists aren't required, but I encourage you to have them if possible so we can experiment with them in class or so your student can experiment with them at home. This is only the distance learning supply list. Once we are able to be back in the classroom, the supply list will be much shorter as I will provide the necessary materials to your student. I hope that this video helped you understand the culture of my classroom and how I teach, as well as provided you with some necessary information for us all to be successful in online learning. I thank you for your time, and I look forward to meeting you and your students soon. As always, email is the best way to reach me if you have any questions. Let's have a great year, Jaguars.